So every time I share a project from my fashion design portfolio, you guys love it, but you want to know how I drew the details. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I draw zippers. Let's first go through a basic zipper head and a basic zipper teeth brush. And then if you're up for it, stay tuned to see how I draw a little more advanced zipper like this. Let's get started. All right. So this is a fresh Adobe Illustrator artboard and the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure that my smart guides are on because smart guides always help me draw better. For this, come up here to view and click on smart guides. And mine is already turned on which is why there is a tick mark next to it. So I'm going to start by hitting P on my keyboard to bring up the pen tool or you can just select it from here. If you guys are not already familiar with the pen tool, I recommend you watch this video first to learn how it works. I'm going to start by drawing a shape like this. Keep going until you end up with something funny looking like so. And this is basically half of our zipper head. And the zipper head is full of extremely sharp edges at this moment. We don't want to design something that's going to poke holes in people, do we? So I'm going to switch to my direct selection tool. And then in order to blunt out a sharp corner of my zipper, I'm going to click one corner like so. And see this tiny white circle that appears? Simply click and drag it inwards like this and that corner will round out. The more you pull it in, the more it's going to curve in. But I'm okay with just about so much of a curve, so I'm going to release my mouse here. I'm then doing the same thing at these two ends like so. Perfect. Now let's reflect this half to create the other half. So click on the shape. Then click on the Reflect tool and with it, hold down Alt or Option and click on the center point on which you want your shape to reflect to the other side. And when you click, the shape reflects and this table also opens up at the same time. All you got to do here is make sure Vertical is selected and click Copy because you want your shape not just reflected but also copied to the other side. Both halves of our zipper head have now appeared. Now let's go combine both shapes into one. So select both, open the Pathfinder tool and click Unite. And we have one more pointy edge up here. So let's go round that out. Next, let's go do the zipper puller. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and draw out a long shape like so. Now with the direct selection tool, I'm going to click on this corner and simply hit my right arrow key 10 times. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm then clicking on this point and hitting the left arrow key 10 times. This is to ensure that both sides of my zipper remain symmetrical. And once again, let's go round out the corners a lot this time. Do the same up here. Now take the ellipse tool and simply draw a circle up there and a circle down here. They will be randomly placed, so adjust the circles till they sit in a position that looks something like this. Now highlight all three shapes drawn so far for our puller, open the pathfinder and this time choose exclude. And you will see that the circles we drew basically turn into holes on our zipper puller because they have been excluded from the shape below. And the zipper puller is starting to take shape. Now back to the rectangle tool, draw a shape like so and round out the edges again. We're almost done, but just to give the zipper a bit more of a realistic look, I'm going to go back to my pen tool and draw two lines like so. I'm then drawing one more line like so, which I will now curve a tiny bit by selecting the anchor point tool and just clicking it and dragging it upwards like so. And we are done with the zipper guys. I'm going to highlight everything, right click and choose group so that they stay together in one group. Let's reduce the size and move it to the side for now. 
The next step is to work on the zipper tape and the zipper teeth. For this, I'm going to take my rectangle tool and draw a tiny, tiny, tiny rectangle like this. This is going to be a single zipper tooth. Now make a copy of this shape using the shortcuts Command C and Command F. The copy has now appeared, falling exactly in front of the original shape. So while it is still highlighted, I'm going to use my keyboard's arrow keys to move it to the right and down like this. I'm now going to take these two zipper teeth and make a brush out of it. Creating a brush is super simple, guys. All you got to do is highlight both objects, open the brush definition panel, and click on the new brush icon. This table will then open up. So let's choose pattern brush and hit OK. And this table will open up next. So all you got to do is hit OK and the zipper brush has been created. So let's go try it out. Take the pen tool, draw a line like so. Then open the brush definition panel and click on the brush you just made. And that looks great. Let's also right click the line, go to arrange and send to back. And yep, that looks cool. Let's bring it to the center of the board. And since this is what a zipper looks like when it's closed, I'm also going to show you how to draw an open zipper. So catch the zip and pull it down here. Then simply reduce the zipper teeth height like this. Now back on my pen tool, I'm drawing a curved line like so. Then I'm going to reflect a copy of this curved line to the other side as well. For this, like before, select the Reflect tool, hold down Alt or Option and click on the point on which you want the line to be reflected. When this table opens up, make sure vertical is selected and click Copy. Now highlight both lines and click on the zipper brush we just made. And as you can see, the zipper looks like it's just splitting into two more zippers. So before we edit this into an open zipper, let's position it to make sure it's exactly where we want. And this looks fine. It should look like this under your zipper head. Let me put the zipper head back. And here is how we edit this to make it look like an open zipper. Go back to the brush that we created, drag and drop two copies of the brush onto your screen like this. Now take your direct selection tool and delete this part because we don't need it anymore. Now, for the top copy, delete the single zipper tooth on the left. And for the bottom copy, delete the single zipper tooth on the right. The shapes are now ready. So once again, let's go create brushes out of these two parts, which only have a single zipper tooth included. Same process as before. Let's highlight this shape first. Open the brush definition panel, click on new brush, then pattern brush and hit OK. When your pattern brush options open up, hit OK again because these settings are fine. Now repeat the exact same process for this part. Awesome guys, now all that's left to do is to click on the right row of the zipper teeth and click this brush that we made and then the left row of zipper teeth and click this brush that we made and you end up with an open and closed zipper like so. Let's delete this bit and that's pretty much it. Feel free to move it up or down, but like me, if you move it up, make sure to right click it to place it above the zipper teeth. If you're feeling a bit dramatic like me, then let's go add a little bit more detail to this zipper. I'm gonna draw a simple zipper stopper like so. It's just a plain old rectangle. I'm then gonna take my pen tool and draw a line like so. Remove its fill, then reflect a copy of that to the other side. Also making sure to send it to the back. Finally, I'm adding a stitch line that runs around the zipper by first creating a line and then using the dashed line feature in the stroke panel to convert it to a stitch line. And there you have it, a pretty realistic looking zipper sketch. 
Now you guys didn't think that I was gonna leave you just like that, did you? I'm gonna show you how to add this to an actual sketch of a garment. Yep, that one. Remember this jacket that I taught you guys to draw the other day? If you missed the video, you can click here to learn how to draw it. But basically, take your pen tool and draw a straight line at the center front like so. Then click on the brush you created to convert it into the zipper teeth. The zipper will appear in the size that you created it, so remember to reduce the size to fit your garment properly. For that, you will need to come to the stroke weight section here and reduce the stroke. I'm just gonna type in a value of about 0.1 and that looks fine. Now to place the zipper head on the jacket too, I'm gonna first make a copy and drag it out to the side like so. And here's what I'm gonna do. If I reduce the zipper size like this, you can see that the stroke weight remains the same, giving me a zipper with a very thick outline. Similarly, if I increase the size of the zipper as well, the stroke remains the same, giving me a zipper with very thin outlines. So I'm going to put it back to the original size and instead open the symbols panel and click and drag the zipper into it. This table will open up. Make sure that static symbol is selected. And if you want, go ahead and rename the zipper up here and hit OK. Now go ahead, reduce its size and place it where you need. And as you can see, the stroke weight has also reduced matching the zipper proportions that we initially made. Go ahead and make any adjustments that you need. Draw the zipper stopper at the bottom. Add the stitch lines at the side. And that is basically how you add a zipper onto an actual garment sketch. So now that you have the basics of drawing simple zipper teeth, I'm going to show you a little more complex type of zipper teeth for those badasses out there who feel like they are ready. So start by drawing a shape like this with the pen tool. I'm holding down shift while drawing so that I get perfectly straight lines and perfectly diagonal lines that are at 45 degrees. Keep going until you have a shape like this. Now this is one half of a single zipper tooth. Fill it in black and then reflect a copy to the other side. Then unite both halves into one. Next, I'm going to pull out two copies like this and the third copy I'm going to invert and place it here. Let's adjust this a tiny bit until all three shapes lie like this. We now have three zipper teeth. Now I'm going to take the rectangle tool, remove any fill it has and draw a shape over my three zipper teeth. Except while drawing, my rectangle cuts into the center of the first tooth and the center of the last tooth. If your smart guides are on, this pink line appearing will tell you that you are at the exact center of a zipper tooth. Now highlight everything, open the shape builder tool by clicking here or just hitting shift M on your keyboard. Then hold down option and simply click on this shape and this shape and that will delete it. So let me explain this. The shapes that remain are the shapes that will form one continuous zipper teeth brush like this. Now same process as before, highlight everything, reduce the size and go make a brush out of it. The only thing I'm doing additionally here is under colorization, I'm going to choose tints. And this is because I want to be able to change the color of the zipper teeth brush that I eventually make. Keep in mind that only the black areas of your zipper can change color. The white areas will always remain white. Our entire zipper is currently black, which means that it can fully change to green or yellow or any other color by simply changing the stroke color. I'll show you how I do that later. Now here is the first zipper that we made. I'm going to change the teeth to the new zipper teeth brush that we just made. Take your group selection tool and click here, then open the brush definition panel and select the new brush. That looks great. Reduce the size to match the current zipper and that's perfect. 
Do the same for the upper half. Now same as before, let's fix the upper half. Start by dragging out two copies of the brush like so. Let's delete this section and also let's zoom in. Now at the top, delete this shape and down here, delete these shapes. Now create brushes individually out of these two. And like before, change the upper half to the brushes that we just created. And that's it guys, we have a much more realistically shaped zipper. And here is how you can change the color. Go to stroke and simply pick any color that you like. Here is my jacket once again. I'm gonna zoom in and click on the existing zipper, then change it to the latest zipper. Reduce the size by a tiny bit. And should we go crazy and change the color to orange? There you have it. And here is what black looks like. And let's just, you know, go back to white. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.